Welcome back and after that news update with Regina, now it's time to have that conversation. It's the time that we've been waiting for and we are here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined by His Excellency, Ambassador of Japan to Kenya. He's called Horie. Good morning. Good morning. That's what you say. Um, Ohayo gozaimasu? Ohayo gozaim. Very correct. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. I got it right. Yes. Karibu. Karibu. And Asante sana. Karibu sana. And uh, Madam Yuko? Yuko. I'm Yuko Horie. Uh, nice Yuko Horie. Yes. And she is the wife to the ambassador. We are so glad to have you on set this particular Monday morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I love your outfit. Thank you, man. I love Kitenge shirts. <laughs> really? <laughs> I hope you have a lot of them like this one. Yes, more than 10. <laughs> okay. And, and why is it so important for you to have the Kitenge? Uh, because uh, I think, you know, the cultural understanding yes. is uh, very, very important right. uh, to have a very comfortable mm -hmm. uh, life mm -hmm. in one country mm -hmm. in Kenya yeah. so Kitenge is yes. very important for me right welcome to the show once again uh, before we start uh, we 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 saw the closing ceremony of Olympics in Japan yes. yesterday yes and Japan has done amazing job hosting the world in an Olympics that happened during COVID-19 mm -hmm. but nonetheless it was successful what do you make of that uh, we Many uh, Japanese people were uh, worried about the possible, uh, you know, the problem mm -hmm. caused by the uh, Olympic Paralympic right, and right. Uh, the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But uh, at last uh, we hosted mm -hmm. very successfully mm -hmm. and the Olympic was closed on uh, August 8th. Yes. And the Paralympic mm -hmm. closed yesterday. Mm -hmm. Very successfully. So uh, I... We highly appreciate uh, uh, cooperation uh, yeah. from the Kenyan Olympians, Paralympians, mm -hmm. and all the people involved, mm -hmm. especially uh, Kenyan National Olympic Committee, yeah. Paralympic Committee, and the Minister of Sports. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much yeah. for all the Kenyans. They did an amazing job. Yes, very much. Absolutely. And uh, I was uh, very much impressed by the, uh, the clothing ceremony uh -huh. of Olympic Games. Yes. Uh, on August 8th, uh -huh. uh, on that you know ceremony, closing ceremony, uh, the medal uh, ceremony mm. was also uh, held uh, for the marathon mm. uh, medalist, mm. Kenyan Kipchoge, Kipchoge for male, and uh, yes, Jeb Churchill, yes, Jeb Churchill, and the Kosuge yes. uh, for the female mm. uh, marathon uh, gold medal. Mm. Uh, and the silver medal. So national anthem of the Kenya yes. uh, was played twice. And all the Japanese people very much impressed right. by the beautiful melody mm -hmm. of Kenyan national anthem. And I believe that uh, many, many uh, people all over the world were also impressed uh, by the beautiful melody right. of the uh, Kenyan national anthem. Mm. And, and it, it, was, it was an Olympic like no other. It was low-key because of COVID-19. Uh -huh. And we just appreciate that the Japanese government did all they could to make sure that everybody was safe in Japan. Yes. And it ended pretty well. Mm. You have been an ambassador for close to 40 years. Mm -hmm. And a quarter of that time, you've been posted in Africa. Uh, yes, I entered uh, the Japanese Foreign Service, uh, 1979, 42 years ago. 42 years ago. And uh, I have visited 40 countries in the world, mm. but half of that, mm -hmm. 20 countries, were Africa. So uh, I lot. have visited 20 African countries, Yes. and uh, I have been posted to nine countries mm -hmm. uh, for those uh, 42 years. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, I was posted to Nigeria mm -hmm. uh, as a young diplomat in yes. 1982. Uh, 82. And uh, I was uh, posted to uh, Sudan uh -huh. as ambassador in uh, 2012. Uh -huh. So this is my third African country uh -huh. as ambassador uh -huh. to be hosted. And I have very much enjoyed yes. the uh, Af visit to African countries mm. and the state in African countries, especially in Kenya. Yeah. I'm, I'm told the first time you visited Kenya was 
you came to Kenya and yes. you went to Amboseli National Park. Yes. What took you to Amboseli <laughs> National Park? <laughs> uh, when we were living in Nigeria, right. uh, just at, after our marriage, uh -huh. and uh, we came to Nairobi uh, as a tourist, uh, 38. 38 years ago. 38 years ago. And uh, we went to Amboseli as our honeymoon. Right. And uh, so that was our first visit to uh, Kenya. And wow. uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, we went to Amboseli again mm -hmm. uh, as a second honeymoon. And we stayed wow. at the same hotel. And we saw the, of course, same mountain. Yes. Kilimanjaro. Yes. So we were very much pleased uh, to visit Amboseli again. Right. Did you ever know uh, when you came for your honeymoon 38 years ago mm -hmm. that at one point yeah. you will be an ambassador no, no, in this no, country? No, 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 no. We we had no idea. Right. <laughs> so we are so much pleased yes. to come back to Kenya. Absolutely. This is a very beautiful country. Mm -hmm. Lots of natural resources and animals, mm. and there are lots of uh, uh, very nice foods, mm. drinks, mm. and the people. People, very much. How many, how many countries have you visited in the country, in Kenya? How many countries? Uh, so far, more than 10 counties. Right. Uh, because uh, uh, we have been assisting Kenya mm. with uh, lots of uh, official development assistance, ODA. Mm. ODA. Uh, such as uh, uh, ODA loan, very low interest loan mm. to Dongo Kundo SEZ projects. That is in Mombasa? Mombasa, right, and I signed uh, the two, three, three projects mm -hmm. for Odongo Kunde CZ mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, total amount is ninety billion Kenya shillings. That's a lot of money. And but uh, in addition to, to those uh, uh, large scale yeah. uh, ODA, right, uh, we have been providing a small scale. Uh, relatively small scale mm -hmm. uh, grassroots grant assistance mm -hmm. to uh, rehabilitate elementary school, middle right. school, right. and the clinics and uh, water supply system. Mm -hmm. uh, last month we went to West Pocot right. to attend the handover, uh, handing over ceremony mm -hmm. of the elementary school uh, classrooms. Yeah. And uh, at the end of this month, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to Marsabit right. to attend the handing over ceremony mm -hmm. of the elementary school uh, rehabilitation projects. So uh, uh, to attend uh, such in a handing over ceremony, w I, we have been uh, visiting uh, different counties. Mm -hmm. the, each county has a different culture. Absolutely. Different food. Yes. <laughs> and different people. Pe different people, right. yes. What, what stood out uh, for you any time you visit these counties? You yes. go to West Pokot, yeah. you go to Mombasa, you yes. meet different people. What fascinates you when you visit these places? Uh, first of all, very beautiful uh, scenery right. and environment. And the very good people. Mm. And uh, each county has a different uh, cultural uh, traditions. Mm -hmm. But everybody loves music. Yes. And the singing song. Yes. Song. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll tell you later yeah. about uh, our. <laughs> and, and Madame will also sing for yes. us, probably later. <laughs> she will sing for us yes. some good music. I will tell you that she can also sing in Kiswahili, and the ambassador can also sing. That's why you are called the singing ambassador. <laughs> They will sing for us later on. Yes, carry on, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, most impressive, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we went to uh, Mombasa right. to attend the uh, grand breaking ceremony mm. of the Dongo Kunde CZ, mm. a special economic zone, together with lots of CS, uh, yeah. cabinet secretaries, and the uh, governor mm. of uh, uh, Mombasa, mm -hmm. and the president, uh, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. Right. And uh, I made a speech, and I started my speech by saying mm -hmm. Then I switched to English. Then once I switched to English, my uh, you know this speech, many la local ladies right. almost very much disappointed. I sensed almost booing <laughs> because of your Kiswahili. Kiswahili, yes. right. So then uh, suddenly to change, in order to change the atmosphere, mm. uh, I asked my wife to join me mm -hmm. to sing a song. Mm -hmm. At that time, I didn't know the Kiswahili song. Yeah. So we sang an uh, uh, English song, mm -hmm. Edelweiss. And even with uh, English song, 
many, all, all the local ladies mm. and the people, mm. even you know, the president of Kenyatta, yeah. applauded. <laughs> the so, way you sang. Yes. All right. So, so I understood the music. Uh, singing a song yeah. is, is a very good uh, a gateway mm -hmm. to open mm -hmm. the people's hearts. Yeah. So uh, we try to practice key Swahili songs, uh -huh. uh, starting with uh, uh, Daima. Mm -hmm. No, no, starting with uh, uh, Jambo Buana. Jambo Buana, the song. Then right. uh, uh, Malaika. Uh -huh. And then we try to uh, find a good. Uh, Keith Swahili song. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were told by Kenyan friends that uh, Daima by Eric Wainaina right. is a very, very good That's song. That's a very powerful song. So uh, we studied uh, lyrics yeah. and the very, very impressive lyrics mm. and the beautiful melody. Yeah. That the problem was uh, the uh, I was uh, advised by my friend, mm -hmm. Kenyan friend. Mm. Uh, uh, for the need to get the permission yes. from Eric Wainaina himself yeah. to yeah. sing that his song yeah. in front of the public. Mm. But I got it. So you have the thumbs up? Yes. We will sing that so song. So anytime, <laughs> any place, we can sing it. The ambassador will sing Daima <laughs> by Eric Wainaina. Uh, there's an entire orchestra here in studio. So uh, there will be some band, some entertainment. That's why he's called the singing ambassador. Ambassador. Kenya and Japan have enjoyed a good working relationship in terms of a business. Yes. What do you make of that as, as the ambassador right now? Yeah. Um, the ties in terms of business, mm -hmm. what do you foresee in future? Uh, at the moment, uh, there are 89 uh, Japanese companies who are doing business in Kenya. And uh, uh, I believe uh, the number of Japanese companies mm -hmm. Uh, in uh, in business in Kenya uh, will be definitely increasing. Right, and uh, so most of the uh, car uh, you know companies such mm. as Toyota, yeah, uh, doing business here, mm -hmm. and all the major trading companies which have been uh, doing business here, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so and at the end of this this year, yeah. uh, early December, mm -hmm. uh, second. Africa Japan uh, business dialogue uh, business forum mm. will be taking place in Kenya mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, I think that uh, the minister uh, trade and investment uh, ca from ca is coming yeah. from Japan yeah. and uh, we will have a very big events yeah. and the conference mm. uh, here in Kenya mm. so that and the next year uh, maybe uh, around <laughs> uh, Kenya election yes. uh, timing, right. uh, we, w we will have a summit meeting mm -hmm. between Africa and Japan. We mm. call it TICAT, mm. Tokyo International Conference for African Development. Right. Five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, that conference was held in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, at the first time, uh, for, for you know, having that conference yeah. outside of Japan. And the second, you know, the uh, ticket mm. in Africa mm. will be taking place in Tunisia yeah. uh, next year. Mm. So those, you know, the occasion will be a good chance uh, to promote a business mm. relation between uh, Japan and African countries, mm. especially Kenya. Because uh, Kenya is a gateway yeah. for Japanese companies and the Japanese government activities. Because Kenya has been a uh, very stable mm. uh, democratic society right. welcome back you're still watching good morning kenya and this is uh the show that gives you what's happening around the country in 24 hours you know what's been happening across the country uh before we took a break the uh, the u.s government uh donated uh 880,000 doses of moderna and now uh, I have, with permission from the ambassador himself, that tomorrow the government of uh, the, uh, the ambassador will be giving 12 pieces, donating 12 pieces of ultra low temperature equipment, uh, including freezers and other devices that will be used for storage of COVID-19 vaccines that require very low temperatures. So uh, the doses that have been given today, 
uh, the pieces of ultra low temperature equipment that will be donated by the Japanese uh, government tomorrow will be used to store these particular vaccines. That is Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. So that will be happening tomorrow at uh, Afia House. Afia House. At Afia House. And the ambassador himself mm -hmm. will be there to hand over the equipment. Ambassador, before we took a break, we were talking about <coughs> Kenyan... Uh, you know, friendship and bilateral ties between Kenya and Japan. It has been a relationship that has taken a very long time. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that you can foresee a very good future between the two countries. Where do you see, in terms of business, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya has benefited a lot from Japan in Jap Japanese in, uh, government? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our, you know, business for business people. Right. Uh, most important element mm. uh, liquids for the investment, trade, uh, the business activities mm. is the stability mm. and uh, reliable, you know, the political yeah. and the economic system. Mm -hmm. So Kenya has uh, has uh, had the never, uh, you know, the uh, had uh, uh, military coup d'état. Yeah. Uh, and a very stable society, uh, free and open society, mm. uh, democratic political system. Yeah. So uh, Kenya is a gateway for all the uh, uh, many Japanese companies. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe next year yeah. uh, you will have election. Exactly. In the next 11 months? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but as ambassador of Japan, I will talk. I will not talk about uh, politics mm -hmm. of Kenya in detail, mm -hmm. but I trust, I believe in the uh, stable uh, political system mm -hmm. will be continuing. Yeah. So I hope peaceful election mm. will be taking place. Be taking place. How, how is Kenya important for the Japan, the Japanese government? Because you talked about 89 companies mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. and you can imagine how many people are employed in those companies. Mm -hmm. How important is Kenya for not Japan alone, but East Africa and even mm. Africa as, as a whole? Uh, you know, the now global economy, mm. economy is pervading uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, for any major Japanese companies, uh, Africa is a very important frontier uh, for the future business mm. uh, for them. So among the uh, 54 African countries, mm -hmm. Kenya, is one of the most important uh, economy in the yeah. country yeah. Uh, for those activities uh, because of the democracy and uh, very open and free society. Mm. So uh, uh, I believe the more and the more uh, Japanese companies coming yeah. to Kenya mm. and the more and the more investment and trade mm. will be done in the near future. Mm. Mm. Uh, and let's let's. Uh, I think in terms of trade and friendship mm -hmm. and the cultural ties, the two countries share a lot mm -hmm. culturally. We share yes. a lot with yes. Japan. Yes, yes. Uh, I hosted the uh, small scale uh, cultural events. Yes, at my residence mm -hmm. because uh, now because of nine, uh, COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. we can't hold the large scale uh, cultural yeah. events as before. So we. I, we invited a uh, small number of guests, mm -hmm. uh, one time maybe 10 or 20, mm -hmm. and uh, my wife is uh, very good at uh, flower arrangement, right. Japanese flower land, Ikebana, yes, Ikebana. and uh, making tea, mm -hmm. a Japanese tea ceremony, we call it Chado. Uh -huh. And uh, my chef, I have a, a Japanese chef, mm -hmm. and uh, he is demonstrating how to make a sushi, yeah. and how to make a Japanese uh, half, you know, the sweets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, uh, as last month, we invited uh, some TV crews, mm -hmm. uh, different TV uh, companies, mm -hmm. including yes. uh, KBFC, right. and uh, uh, they recorded. Uh, maybe two hours, three hours, you know, demonstration mm. of such, you know, mm. Japanese culture. But uh, what I, Im you know, the stressed, uh, is stress is, uh, uh, you know, the not only beautiful mm. uh, beauty of the Japanese culture, tea ceremony, yeah. flower island, but uh, most important uh, values uh, behind the uh, Japanese culture. Mm. That mm. is mutual respect. Exactly. And the harmony. Yeah. You know, tea ceremony is uh, uh, required, you know, the guests and the host, host hostess mm. are required to 
present you know the harmony mm -hmm. and the mutual express mutual you know respect mm. to the guests to mm -hmm. the hostess so, and the flower arrangements is also harmony yeah. between different flowers leaves and the stems and the harmony mm. among the uh, fl arranged flower and the environmental yeah. people yeah so uh, in Japanese culture mutual respect and harmony is a very very important very element important for every society and uh, the lyrics of the Daimar mm -hmm. by Eric Wainan yes it's a song for the unity harmony mutual yeah. respect among the different people mm. with a different culture different ethnic mm. groups uh, backgrounds and the history yeah so I th believe I sensed the uh, same values mm -hmm. we are sharing yeah Kenyan people and the Japanese people mm. absolutely and Eric Wainaina your song will be played right here at the national television. Thank you, bro. You're doing a good <laughs> job. All right, Ambassador, tomorrow you'll be handing over yes. the, the 12 pieces of the ultra-modern low-temperature uh, equipment. You can tell me much about that. Uh, first of all, uh, COVID-19 uh, is a problem for everybody, every country, every yes. society. The entire world is No affected. person, yeah. no society, no country should be left behind. So... You know the uh, whether it's a rich country or a poor country, mm. it's uh, you know any country yeah. should be treated equally. Mm. So uh, uh, as Ambassador Japan, since uh, last year uh, March, yeah. uh, when the COVID-19 started in Kenya, mm. uh, we have provided Kenya with uh, lots of uh, PCR test kits yeah. and uh, medical equipments and uh, robots to mm. treat us uh, uh, safely mm. <laughs> to yeah. the patient. In the, <laughs> right. You can see the robots at uh, you know, some uh, air, airports and yes. so forth. Yeah. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we will, I will attend the handing of a ceremony mm. of uh, uh, the equipment you mentioned, yes. uh, ultra low temperature mm. uh, freezer and the other equipments. Mm. Because uh, in order to storage and uh, uh, deploy the uh, vaccines such as uh, Pfizer and the Moderna, uh, Moderna right. uh, which you know require a very, very low temperature, minus uh, 70, 80. Much, uh, yes, degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Yeah. So uh, you need the uh, those kind of equipment uh, to you know the manage mm. in the uh, deployment of mm. the COVID-19 model and the Pfizer yeah. so we decided to uh, together with units uh, UN organization yeah. to provide uh, many many uh, developing countries mm. developing countries uh, to give them the uh, cold so-called cold yeah. chain yeah to make uh, last one mile, yes. you know, the coverage of yeah. the COVID-19. And this will be vaccine. 212 million Kenyan shillings. Yes, only for Kenya. Only for Kenya. Yes. All right. Ambassador, as we come to a close, what is your legacy that you'd want to leave behind when your term comes to an end and you say, mm. Kenya, Asante Sana, I've served you, I've served the people of Japan. What is one legacy that you'd want to leave behind when you say, Asante Sana Kenya. Uh, of course, you know the business relations between the two countries mm -hmm. and uh, official development assist ODA relations mm -hmm. between our two countries mm -hmm. and uh, sports exchange. Yeah. Uh, you know, Olympic, Paralympic. You know, these uh, occasions, uh, many many athletes came to Japan. Mm -hmm. But uh, more than that, you know the. Uh, total, you know, relations yeah. uh, between the two countries, two peoples. Mm. Uh, I appreciate yes. the more and the more uh, promotion. Right. So, uh, uh, if you allow us, uh, sure. we will sing. Yes, I, I will allow you. Kisu <laughs> so in, in, so in, so in so And by the way, they do better Kiswahili than most of us <laughs> in studio, including my director Ben, who does not speak good Kiswahili. Um, <laughs> You, you told me you went to Narok yeah. and you were given a name. Yes. Uh, two How years did this come about? <laughs> two years ago, uh, together with my wife, wife yes. I went to Narok to attend the handing of ceremony of elementary schools, uh, classrooms and toilets. Uh -huh. 
And uh, we sang uh, 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 Malaika uh -huh. together in front of the Maasai ladies and tra traditional leaders, yes. the school children. And uh, special ladies asked us to sing one more, one more time. Uh -huh. And uh, we sang three times, three times right. in Malaika. Right. Then uh, um, a Maasai leader, tra traditional leaders gave us uh, a tra traditional title mm -hmm. to me, Memusi. That is now you. Lucky guy. Yeah, lucky guy, Memusi. <laughs> and uh, Nasi Pai, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Nasi Pai is and a Memusi. Happiness? Yes, Memusi and yes. Nasi Pai. Mm -hmm. So they are calling me, uh, not Ambassador Horie, Ambassador Memusi. Ambas <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that, now that, that, sounds, that sounds appropriate. Yeah. Ambassador Memusi and Madame, Madame Nasi Pai. Nasi Pai. <laughs> exactly. And I, I think that what uh, makes Kenya unique because of the background and the culture yes. that uh, perhaps we share mm -hmm. with Japan. Yes. Right. Yes. So uh, I, any place uh, where I visited, mm -hmm. in any county, any society, mm -hmm. uh, we have enjoyed uh, uh, you know, the communication and uh, encounter with local people. Yeah. So they are so friendly, mm -hmm. uh, so you know, the energetic. Mm. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, uh, we went to the, uh, you know, care center yeah. for children with uh, special needs. Uh, the name is uh, Siloan, uh, Garden of Siloan. Yes, yes. And that was run by Japanese medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And that they, get, they are taking care of the children with uh, uh, handicaps mm. almost, and uh, special needs. Mm. And uh, uh, we are providing them uh, almost uh, uh, two, uh, 20 million yeah. Kenya shilling yeah. uh, to construct a new facility. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really appreciate uh, activities mm. done by the uh, Gardam Siloa. Yeah. You know, the, I, <laughs> At the uh, time of the closing ceremony of the parliament last night, 15% mm. of the to total population all over the world is handicapped. 15%. So uh, we need to assist those, you know, the people, those organizations who are taking care mm. of the children with the special needs yeah. more and more. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I really hope you and your company, mm -hmm. TV, mm -hmm. will assist yes. such kind of activities yeah. in Kenya. Absolutely. Ambassador Mimusi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Mam Nashipai? Yes. All right, let's take a break and we'll be coming back with now more entertainment. The music will be here. We have got an entertainment. I'm a lucky guy. I'll be entertained by the ambassador himself. What about you? Let's take a break. We'll be right back.